So how do I edit everything on my iPad? Well, I showed you the five best free editing softwares for the iPad for free. Although I use LumaFusion, I'm gonna go quickly show you how I use LumaFusion. First thing first, I've recorded all my footage on my camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my footage from my SD card to my iPad. I'm gonna stick this in my card reader. And here we go, just plug this into my iPad. So I edit everything natively on my iPad. I wanna make sure that I've got enough space on my iPad so I can transfer the files. So I'm just gonna to go to my camera reel and just select a few videos that I can get rid of here to make up some extra space. So I'm delete those two. Make sure I go to my recently deleted. Go ahead and select it from there and delete all. Okay, so that frees up a lot more space. I can now transfer my files from my SD card straight on to my iPad. So I'm gonna to go to my files. Down here, I can see untitled this one here. Go to clips and then I can transfer the files from here. I'll find today's files. Here we go, a couple of these ones here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. So select and I can transfer them. So move, and I'm gonna create a folder here. So I'm gonna to go to my iPad go down to LumaFusion, go down to user media, and then I'm gonna make a folder here, so a brand new folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on a new folder, how to edit. Okay, so I'm gonna put everything into this, I'm gonna press on copy, and that should transfer the files onto my iPad. You can see here as well, there's a little progress bar. So I've transferred all of my files there. They should be in my LumaFusion imported folder. So if I go to imported, how to edit on the iPad, I've got my files here. So I'm gonna click on this one, create new project. I'm gonna base it on this file. So now I can grab my footage, put it on my timeline. Record with your... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. And then this one here. It's gonna be a very simple edit, nothing fancy. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim up what I need to trim up. Um, maybe throw on um, an audio track. So before I start cutting and trimming the footage, I can color correct if I need to by double tapping on this clip and then going to color and effect, going to original, I can brighten it up and maybe some, add some contrast, maybe add some vibrancy. Yeah, I like the vibrancy. I can show you the before and after. So that's what it looked like before. This is what it looks like after. Very slight, but it does the job. I can copy all of the attributes to this clip. So if I go up here, so that's copied. I can come back out of this, go to my next clip and I can apply the same attributes. So I could click on this attribute paster and go ahead and paste the same attributes. That's pretty good. However, this clip is a bit more brighter, so I might wanna darken this clip up. So look, now that I've got, because I copied the attributes from the previous clip, I've got my attributes here. I might wanna darken this up a little bit, so maybe what I can do is just take down the brightness a little bit, and then before and after. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've done my color adjustment. Now I'm just gonna scroll through and see where I need to cut. Now, if I go right to the end of this clip, four minutes, my aim is to try to compress this as much as I can to give you content that is valuable without any fluff. So from four minutes, let's see how long the edit's gonna take in order for us to cut this down a little bit. Okay, so if we look at this now, I've trimmed up all of the bits and it's at two minutes, which is fantastic. Um, nice and short, all I need to do now then is if I'm not gonna add any graphics or any titles, what I need to do is I just need to press on this share and export, go to movie, and then go ahead and press on photo, and then choose my resolution and settings. Now I recorded this um, at 4K, I'm gonna leave it at 4K. I don't need it at ultra, it's way too much. I'm gonna go to maybe quality, uh, leave it at 25 frames, and then go ahead and export this. So that's saved to the photo gallery. Here it is, if I go to my photos and go to my library, you can see this one here, the two minute video, it's uh, recorded. So let's go ahead and upload this. I'm gonna go to YouTube Studio. And then if you upload from YouTube Studio using Safari, you can upload full 4K. So I'm gonna go to create, upload video, um, grab my file here from my photo library, this two minute video here, upload it. This is gonna start preparing and then it's gonna start processing. So that's done preparing. I'm gonna now add in a title. How I actually edit videos on my iPad. Go, you know, you can add in your title, your description, all the rest of it. So I'm gonna upload this as untitled. I might wanna tweak things up. So I'm gonna go ahead and press save. That's gonna start processing and add to get the YouTube library. 
while that's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swipe away from Safari and I'm going to start editing my um, thumbnail. So here we go. I'm going to go to Pixel Meter. That's where I edit all of my thumbnails. This is the previous one that I just done. So I'm going to go ahead and create an image and I'm going to go ahead and grab this screenshot. I like that. And all I need to do is import it. And I'm just going to add a title. If you want to watch a full tutorial on how I edit my thumbnails for YouTube videos, then I'll link that video below. I've done a video on that already. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and export this and upload it to that video. So check this out. I'm going to go to send a copy as a JPEG. and I'm going to go ahead and save image. That saves it in my photo gallery. From Safari, what I can do is once this is done uploading, I can actually go ahead and add that thumbnail. So I'm on my channel content. I can just go to edit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that thumbnail and it's this one here. I'm going to go ahead and use it and then just press on save. That's the entire process on how I um, record, edit and do my thumbnail on YouTube, how I upload to YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll catch you in the next one.